Hi, our class today is about balance three phase system. I would like to explain about Y to Y connection. Before we go to Y to Y connection, there is two possible configuration, which is Y connection and delta connection. In Y connection, you have line A, line B, line C. So this is N. Voltage across A to the N is known as VAN. Voltage across B to the N is known as VBN. And voltage across C to the N is known as VCN. In delta connection, we got A, B, and C line is connected to the VAB, which is from A to B, the voltage VAB. So, from B to C, there is a voltage, potential difference between B and C. And from C to A, so you have B, C, A, potential different. So remember that we have four connection, which is Y to Y connection, Y to delta, delta to delta connection, and delta to Y connection. So I'm going to talk first about Y to Y connection. Here is some example and explanation about Y to Y connection. Y to Y connection is a balanced Y Y system in three phase system with a balanced Y connected source and a balanced Y connected loop. So you have Y connection connected with the line connected with Y loop. So you remember you have source, you have line, and you have loop. Let's take a look for the example. So this is example for YY connection circuit. So you have line IA, IB, IC. So this loop is connected is represented by A capital, B capital, and C capital. There is impedance connected to the load. 1, 2, 3. Usually, this impedance is the same because they are in balance connection. So, this one is line. This one is source. Source usually represent by small a, small b, and small c. So this is the related formula to YY connection. There is four formula which is related to YY connection, Y to delta, delta to delta, and Y to delta connection. So there is a phase voltage, phase current, line voltage, line current. So you will need to use this formula to do calculation. If they ask you to calculate the phase voltage or phase current, line voltage or line current. So this is the formula related to the power for three phase balance system where you have Total instantaneous power, average power per phase, reactive power per phase, apparent power per phase, and complex power for each phase. Let's take a look for example, YY connection. In this case, calculate the line current in the three-wire YY system. So you remember this one is source, this one is line, 
this one is loop so in this system there is an impedance connected between line and loop so this impedance you will need to add this impedance impedance total usually represent by zy or z total so if you have for example, you have the impedance at load. You will need to do ZY equals to impedance at load plus impedance at line plus impedance at source. So in this case, in this question, you only have the impedance for the load and line. So, you will need to calculate the ZY, the total impedance in this connection. Remember that we have formula to calculate the YY connection. The question asks you to calculate the line current. So, if line currents means that you will need to calculate line current. So, line current is represented by this formula. Before that, you will need to calculate the impedance total. Zy is equal to 5 minus J2 plus impedance 10 plus J8. This one comes from this one. 10 plus J8. And 5 minus J2. So you add them. 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Minus J2 plus J8 you get J6. So you need to convert this rectangular to polar. So you can see my video for conversion rectangular to polar. After you convert them, you got 16.155 at the angle of 21.8 degree. So this one is for ZY here. So what is VAN? VAN in this case is given by 110 at the angle of 0. So, you go to 110 at the angle of 0 over ZY here. So, 110 divided by 16.155, you got 6.81. Angle 0 minus 21.8, you got negative 21.8. So, this one you already got for the line current. Remember, for the three-phase system, you have three line current, which is IA, IB, and IC. IA, IB, and IC to represent the line current. IB is equal to IA at the angle of negative 120 degrees C. So, IA is 6.81 at the angle of negative 21.8 times by negative 120 degrees C. So you got 6.81 negative 141.8 ampere. Now you go for the IC. IC is equal to IA at the angle of negative 240 degrees C. Or you can use this formula. IA at the angle of plus 120 degrees C. So, IA is 6.81 at the angle of negative 21.8 at the angle of 120 degrees C plus because they are in positive sequence. So, you got this value. So, this is one of the example for YY connection. Let's take one more example for YY connection to get a better understanding for this three-phase balance system. 
For example, you have a you have a, a connected sorry a connected y connected balance three phase generator with an impedance of there is a one impedance here per phase is connected to y connected balance load with the impedance of 24 plus j19 and the line joining the generator and the load has an impedance of this one so basically you have three impedance which we which is this one is z for the line this one is z for the load this one is impedance at the source right for the total impedance you will need to take care of these three impedance connected together assuming a positive sequence so means that positive sequence you will need to use the formula for the positive sequence for the source voltage where van is equal to 120 degree c at the angle of 30 degree so in this one you will have to remember the formula that connected to yy connection for the line voltage line current and you will need to calculate the apparent power according to the power given before for the zy which is z total you have zy which is z total is equals to z source plus z line plus z loop where you have 0 0.4 plus j 0 0.3 times 24 plus j 19 plus 0 0.6 plus j 0 0.7 ohm from this one zy is equal to 25 plus 20 j okay so in order to calculate the line voltage so the formula for line voltage which is v a b is equals to set 3 vp at the angle of 30 degrees so remember that this formula you need to see from the table for y to y connection Okay, VAB is equal to set 3 VP times at the angle of 30 degrees C. Okay, set 3 VP is equal to times by 120 at the angle of 30 degree times angle of 30 degree. So you get here 120 times set 3 is equal to 207.84 at the angle of 60 okay this one you got for the VAB remember that line voltage you have VAB VBC and VCA for the positive sequence you will need to calculate VAB VBC and VCA for the line current you need to calculate IA IB and IC okay for VBC VBC is equals to VAB at times by the angle of negative 120 degrees C for positive sequence 
So, VAB is 207.84 at the angle of 60 times negative 120 degrees. See? So, you got 207.84 at the angle of negative 60 degrees. So, you see the magnitude is the same. Alright. For VCA is equals to VAB at the angle of positive 120 degrees C for positive sequence. So, this one is 207.84 at the angle of 60 times 120 degrees C. So, from here you got 207.84 at the angle of 180 degrees C. So, you finish your calculation for number number one now you will need to calculate the line current okay for the line current is given by ia ia is equals to vab over zy vab is 120 at the angle of 30 degrees c over 25 plus 20J. So, this one you need to convert from rectangular to polar using my previous video. After you convert this, you get 120 at the angle of 30 degrees C over 32 at the angle of 38.65. 120 divided by 32 is 3.75 at the angle of 30 degree minus 38.65. You got here is negative 8.65 degree. So this one is for IE. Then you calculate IB. IB is equals to IA. At the angle of negative 120 degrees C. IA is equal to 3.75 at the angle of negative 8.65 times at the angle of negative 120 degrees C. So your answer will be 3.75 at the angle of negative 128.65 degree. Okay, this is your answer ia this one is for ib and now you calculate ic ic is equals to ia at the angle of positive 120 degrees c ia is 3.75 at the angle of negative 8.65 times 120 degrees c so you got here 3.75 at the angle of negative 8. at the angle of 111.35 all right so this is your ic for the apparent power apparent power is given by sp equals to VP times IP. VP is 100 at the angle of 30 degree. You will need to look at VAN, sorry. VAN is 120 degree C. One hundred twenty degrees C at the angle of thirty times by IP. IP is IA three point seven five at the angle of negative eight point six five. So you can finish this calculation to get the apparent power. That's all for YY. 
connection for balanced three-phase system.